Wrestling fans, Jeff Johnson here with Nino Capone. Nino, let me be the first to congratulate you on your victory. March the 26th in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and the best of the light heavyweights match. But Nino, I have a question for you tonight. What is next for you in Jersey Off-Road? You know what, Jeff, you're absolutely right. Let me tell you something. I just came off what might have been the biggest win of my career at ECW Arena, where I went through five stars. Not one, not two, not three, five other men. And when it was all said and done, I was the only man standing. All right, 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 right. Enough of the yip, yap, yip, yap. Nobody cares about anybody but us, okay? You need to understand that you're on our turf now. This is not AWA, one little, tiny, little living room promotions, all right? This is Jersey All Pro, and HFX run, runs the show, you understand me? Now listen, we got a proposition for you. You wanna shine tonight? You really wanna, you know, stand out in the crowd? We'll give you an opportunity like a sun. to look good in the ring with us. We're not guaranteeing you have a shot in hell at beating us, no shot. but at least you'll be able to say you've been in the ring with the H-Fed. Yeah. So, you could be our enhancement. Let me, let me explain you something that. to all of you. Let me explain something to you. My first debut in JAP, you went over, you had a handful of tights, one-on-one -on -one competition, I had the upper hand on you, Dixie. You're a former Triple Crown champ. Damn straight. And I beat you one, two, three clean? What does that make me? All I gotta do is find a partner tonight, fellas. That's all. You run around here, think you scare somebody? Be you my guest. about 200 pounds off. <laughs> do us a favor and find us a partner. You're gonna regret all those little smart words coming out of your mouth right now. Yeah. That. Who are you? Hey, Dino. What's up, bro? I know you're looking for a partner, bro. Be you. We're cool. I'm cool. You're cool. What's up? Let me tell you something, man. Let a man up tonight. It's a big stage. Oh, you know the deal. We're doing big things. Yeah. It's not a joke. I'm not joking. What do you think I'm a joke? And here we go. We're back. Tag team action here on Worldwide. The H of X taking on the rather uh, unusual team here of Nina Capone and Danny DeMonto. Well, H Effect, uh, they're a little upset. Feeling they're getting the shaft. Yeah, I don't blame them. These guys, they're very respected. They've held belts all over the place. Tab between the tag team, the world heavyweight, the New Jersey State. Held them all. Dixie held them all, you know what I mean? Derange had the tag belts. I mean, he had the lightweight belt. They, Izzy, I mean, Insane Dragon. Sorry, look at me quoting another fan. Oh. Anyway, Insane Dragon. You have no honor. No honor whatsoever. No respect, no honor. Uh, Insane Dragon, he's held belts. You know, these guys should be put on shows everywhere Jersey Pro runs. For a long time, these guys were in the main event with me and my old partner, Dan Lopez. We're not even going to go there. The Insane Dragon now getting himself involved in this tag team contest. And thus far, it's been all DeMonto and Nito Capone. I remember when we were in Philadelphia a few months ago, Dixie said at the what, ripe old age of 22, he was already a legend in Jersey All Pro Wrestling? Well, he's the only person to hold every single belt at the same time. I can't blame him, you know what I mean? If I were as young as he was holding every single belt, I'd kind of have a big head too. Not only that, but he beat Homicide. Not too many people can say they beat Homicide. Wow, well, wow. Well, if we go back and look at the tape, Homicide did hit the cop killer first on the Insane Dragon, then hit it on Dixie, and Dixie accidentally landed on his own brother for the three count. But Homicide was in the match, right? Homicide was in the match. As cool as I am with Homicide, Homicide lost that match. Homicide, Monster Mac is dissing you right now. Homicide, you know, I'll give you the bag. We'll talk to Reefer later on. I ain't this. Nice drop kick to the kneecaps by Durange. Nina Capone with a cardinal mistake. Turned his back on one men member of the H effect. And now Dixie in sound control of his contact. Well, the last time I saw Nino Capone, he was looking good on Jersey All Pro Worldwide and in uh, Philly during that six-man madness match of death. Uh, he looked real good. And the last time I saw Danny DeMonto, he was getting his stomach pushed in by Loki's. Yes. So I can't imagine, you know, I mean, there's size there with Danny DeMonto when it comes to a team like H Effect, but the experience just isn't there yet. You gotta watch out when the fat man's a flying, he'll take out anybody. Yeah, he needs to stop watching all these Monster Mac tapes already. You know, he uh, he, he does the, the hog splash and the pork chop line, and it's all variations of Monster Mac. Pork chop line? Yes, yes. He, he, like the clothesline from Compton? 
not like. He tries to emulate me, but you know, as you can see, it never works for him. We got the legend on the second roll, nice knee, right to the kneecap of Nino Capone. The H effect cutting off Capone from his partner, Danny DeMonto. It's been all H effect right now. H effect once in the worst way, Munsebat. Respect, but more importantly, they want to crack at the JAP Tag Team Champions, the Heart Foundation. Well, Heart Foundation had to go through hell to get those belts. And, uh, you know, why wouldn't you want to make a name for yourself by beating the newly crowned tag team champions for Jersey All Pro and Teddy Hart and Jack Evans? You know, I think if anybody has a chance besides B Boy and Homicide, it would be the H Effect, any of the combination of the three. Right now, the H Effect range. Caught Danny DeMano sleeping in the corner again, pounding away on Nino Capone. The H Effect using the three on two to their advantage. Look at that. The Insane Dragon distracting the referee, allowing more double teaming by the H Effect. DeMonto not doing his partner any good, just standing there. But when he comes in, distracts the referee. Well, DeMonto's a good wrestler. He's just a young kid. He really doesn't know much. Uh, if it were a veteran, he would have came in and, you know, try to get some help for his partner. But right now, the H Effect is working on Nino Capone's leg, taking it out. If you can't fly, you can't do anything if you're Nino Capone. That's right, again, Nino, another bright, up and kinding, up and shining star here in Jersey you know, Pro Wrestling. But like you said, without the knee, he cannot fly. Henceforth, he's in right, he's in the right position here for the H Effect to take him out and get the victory. What I want to know is how is the H Effect going to deal with DeMonto's size? DeMonto is a big kid, like I said, he's actually a good wrestler. Uh, and if he gets uh, lucky there, he could actually knock one of these kids out with that pork chop line. You know, that's a lot of flesh and arm and bone coming at their face, you know. Could knock him out. Hey, I've done it before. It, you know, wouldn't be the first time for them, but for DeMonto, I guess. You know. They're dealing with DeMonto's size by keeping him out of the matchup. It's been all Nino Capone for his tag team, and he's getting destroyed. He's getting picked apart by the bits, by the H effect. And right now, deranged Irish whip reversal by Nino Capone could not charge after him, fell. But look at that, deranged flipping around, but landing on his feet. Look at this, DeMonto, nice cheap shot there. That was not the hoss, or what would what you call it? Uh, pork chop. The pork chop. No, that was the ham hock punch. Ham hock punch. Interesting name for it. Nino Capone again, still favoring his left leg. The range out on the floor needs to make the tag to Dick Dixie, but more importantly, Nino Capone needs to make the tag to DeMonto, but again, caught sleeping in the corner by Drain. Effect. Dixie with the suplex, Derange with the leg job, and right now Nino Capone's lifeless, covered here by Derange, but the fat man comes in and breaks up the count. This matchup continues on here on Worldwide. Well, DeMonto's got to make his partner uh, get over to make the tag. I mean, he should be getting the crowd involved because adrenaline, it really helps you out in match, no matter how hurt you are. If the crowd starts cheering your name, you get excited and you can do things. You would never know that. Nah, the crowd never, no one likes me. I know the feeling. They all hate me, but they don't slap me in the face and call me doof like everyone does to me. That's your Nino Capone, nice show of agility there, even with the injured knee, landed on his feet, look at that, flipping around and hit the range with a nice DDT, and now's the time. Nino Capone needs to make the tag to Mr. Danny DeMonto. Well, this is what they call a double down, because both men are down. Um, <laughs> is that a smart word? Uh, just a little bit, but both men need to make the tag, especially Nino. The range is looking a little loopy, but you know, that wouldn't surprise me considering they all hang out with the Grim Reaper. Yeah. Both men get the tag in Dixie and DeMonto. DeMonto, the legal man, just taking down the former Triple Crown champion, takes down his partner, Derange. DeMonto of the House of Fire, there's the pork top line. Two of them flipping around Derange right there. And he still has time to fix his pants. Are we, gonna, are we gonna see?